We're still waiting for those pesky mosquitoes and black flies to make an appearance this spring, but the ticks are already out. Lisa Thurlow has tips from experts on how to avoid them. The weather is warming up and the ticks are, are certainly becoming active. Since January 1st, the University of Maine Cooperative Extension Tick Lab has received more than 200 ticks for testing. With the shorter, warmer winters we've been having, experts say ticks are able to survive winter easier. That means we and our pets are more at risk of ticks and the pathogens they may carry. The biggest issue is Lyme disease. There's a high percentage of ticks that may be infected with that. Sarah Robinson is an epidemiologist with the Maine Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. She says while we generally associate ticks with outdoor activities like hiking or camping, ticks can show up anywhere. They find most people encounter them in their own yard. They like leaf litter, they like brush, they like um, leave piles. So if you are going out hiking, stay in the middle of the pathway so you're not brushing up against it. Wear a repellent to help keep the ticks off of you. Wear light colored clothes so that it's easier to see the ticks and spot them. To safely remove a tick, experts say you should use a pair of tweezers or a tick spoon. Once it's removed, you should put it in a plastic bag. Then you can take it to the Humane Tick Lab for analysis. If you're concerned about infection, you should call your doctor. For Lyme disease, there's the bullseye rash. It doesn't always occur in the spot where you were bitten by a tick, so you would want to pay attention to your whole body. The Humane Tick Lab has added two new pathogens to its tick testing panels. They're now screening ticks for Powassan virus and Heartland virus. We felt it's important to try and offer as comprehensive of a testing program that we can offer for the people of Maine, which includes testing for these viral pathogens, Powassan in particular, but we also wanted to include something like Heartland which has been found in some of our uh, wildlife species. We haven't seen reported human cases yet. Now, again, certainly with the adults highly active, it's important to be treating uh, your pets, vaccinating your pets, and of course, uh, checking them for ticks when, when they return indoors. Alyssa Thurlow, WABI TV 5 News.